Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Previously, we cleared out Case 2, which had a very surprising twist to it, and, well, right now I'm just glad that I never have to say the names Eeny Meeny or Mimi Meeny ever again, so let's not do that, and jump right into Case 3. Now, of course, I can't watch the intro now, but I uh, don't, still don't want to look at the promo, uh, promo art for it, so close my eyes here. Okay, I think we did it. What do we have here? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. What? Oh, it's a wizard. The one, the only, Maximilian Galactica. Oh my god, I love him. Whoa! He's flying! He ban it. Wait, is that the Earth? Wait! I am very confused. What, uh... What, are we gonna solve his disappearance then, or... Wait. Well, it's a day after Christmas. Late at night. The Berry Big Circus Circus Entrance. Hey! Alright. <gasps> hey! We took pearls to the circus. Yeah! What? Yeah! I mean, with Morgan Fay in solitary, then Pearl... Well, yeah, where would Pearl go? I guess she'd live with Maya. Then again, isn't Maya sleeping on Phoenix's couch? So, who knows? Wow, that was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There was a dancing bear, and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant that rode a giant ball. Not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Wow, look at that new animation. Oh, that that's new. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. That is the perfect word, yes. Huh? What? Max... Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Uh-huh. What is it, Pearls? Does magic... Uh, does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? Uh... Yes? I don't think it has any anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. Wow. Well, wow. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in Karain Village. Yeah, no kidding. And it was during that trying time that I met Pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her, or, uh, her normal self. I tried to say normal, uh, I tried to say old, but I caught myself there. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. Come by to help clean the office. It's got to be spotless for the new year. And don't worry about it, really. 
You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? M maybe? I am glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Girl, please stop. You're a horrible wingman. P Pearly! Look, it's time to go! Happy New Year, Mr. Nick! Uh, Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. It's Charlie. Two days later. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Oh. Hello. This is the right. I, Nick! It's, it's t terrible! Uh, Maya. Perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess. I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office? What are you talking about? Listen, Nick. You have to turn on the TV. Oh, Lord. TV. Now let's check in at the scene. Huh? What, what happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The Berry... I mean, the Berry Big Circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a... Oh, they're saying that there was a... Murder. Yeah, they arrested him too. Uh, uh, arrested who? Oh, it's gotta be Galactica, right? Max! Yeah, there you go. They arrested Max Galactica. <laughs> Maximilian Galactica. Dance called a Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. I gotta say, Maximilian Galactica. That is a pretty great name. <laughs> I love it. Got a peacock feather in his hat. Uh, this guy has style points. Alright, Nick. I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Uh-huh. What? See you there. Still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? Beep. <laughs> I appreciate that cut to silence there. Nothing more for Phoenix to say. Uh, how's my boy Charlie doing? Charlie, a quite decorative plant. I wouldn't mind just help cleaning this place up. Lazy bones. Alright, let's move. December 28th, 11.19am. Visitor's room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events. <laughs> well, I got what I asked for, I guess. I did say fabulous was the perfect word for him. What's with all this fabulous talk? Um... Okay, what voice do I give this magnificent beast? Eh... Well, obviously I want to channel David Bowie. Bowie? Is it David Bowie or David Bowie? Oh, it's Bowie Knife. David Bowie is the musician, right? I think. Eh. Well, I would do that, but I have no idea what Hit the Man sounds like because I've never actually listened to any of his songs or heard him speak ever, so... Shame on me. Um... Oh, what the hell, let's just figure it out as we go. Welcome to the visitor's room. 
It's Max! Nick, look! It's the real Maximilian Galactica! All right, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. He, he called me sweetie. Oh, Nick. Mr. Steal Your Girl. <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. Uh, this one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it, he got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued, valued possessions. <laughs> oh, no. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max. Swoon. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max. Should look, let Nick pick a card. Ugh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are? Oh, silly, how silly of me. He must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card, any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Oh god. I know the Game Grumps are playing through the first Phoenix Wright game right now. I want them. I want them to reach the second because I need Danny to voice this man. Danny, do you hear me? Voice this man. Uh, you came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? You're looking at the ceiling. I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie? Drop porcupine head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Uh, uh, oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe-inducing. God, I love this man. Uh, is the guard awestruck as well? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there. If he wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall. Kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Huh. Alright, Max. Tell me where you at. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other but uh know each other better too why don't you come sit next to me um there's a big piece of security glass between us oh sweet Jeebus what in the world if only I could use magic then I could make this wall disappear what is this guy talking about anyways lately you've become awfully famous haven't you Max that's Maximilian to you, Porcupine Head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays get their panties all in a bunch up or nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. That is rad as hell. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab... I mean, it was an amazing day. Huh. Why do you stop using fabulous? Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. 
I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. You are assigned to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's a lot of short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus is a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on in there. Huh? What, what do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's, that's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Y yes I made all old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Huh. Interesting, man. Tell me what happened at the Berry Big Circus. Ah, uh, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Uh. Russell Berry. Okay, wait. Russell Berry, what... what... What pun is there? Eh. I mean, I could so totally see Russell as a pun for a cowboy, but... A ringleader? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then, why are you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult me with on matters. That's all. Nick? I don't think Max understands how serious this is. He's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Y yes That's all you talked about. Of course, it was a fabulous chat. Oh wow, I forgot about these. Okay. Hello. Just fabulous. I mean, ah, who's got me saying it? What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Well, I suppose we'll have to come back to this guy, huh? Well, can I present my attorney's badge to you? What is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? And why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Be because you've been arrested for murder. Oh, don't be ignorant. 
That w they wouldn't arrest me some. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Well, this guy keeps saying things I'm not expecting, so I get jumbled up. Why is that? Obviously, because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. Yeah, no, this guy has his head up his ass, definitely. Okay. So? I'm the very big star of the per the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um... Yes? Pork, you... I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I'm an attorney. But please help me! I didn't kill nobody! No, oh, his, 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 his fabulous makeup is... Oh, did his fake lashes fall off? <laughs> oh, that's a good detail. Kill nobody. Oh, was he putting on an accent this whole time? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. Okay. <laughs> He's. <laughs> you remember how I said that I thought Russell Barry, Russell Barry, fit a cowboy more? Well, I'm starting to see connect the dots here. I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. But I kill her? That's insane. I, I, I could never. M Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. R really? Really? Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um... Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. Uh -huh. That is a lethal dosage of Southern. Oh. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. Wow. Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh, huh? Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, nobody mentions it. I did take a card. It was a ten of hearts, right? What? Howdy, he got it right again. What can I say? You too, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Wow. <laughs> I like this guy. To the circus! Let's figure out what we're dealing with here. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. That's what the sign on the right says. Uh, well, like the, more like the floating balloon banner. We are here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Gumshoe! Sounds like a plan. Alright. Uh, nothing here for now. Look, look, it's Max! 
even when you don't want to see him. Poof, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says, Very Big Circus. But looking around, it might as well be Cirque de Galactica. The stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. I thought I'd draw a star on your cheek, Nick. I've got a marker. Nah, nah, it's, it's alright. Ah, <laughs> live a little, Nick. Those streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? Well, they're all over Twitch. You're right. I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. Uh-huh. What's this door? Hmm. This door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all of the stars stay at the lodging house. Yeah, that's sensible. It's a box office where they sell all the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. So then, why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. I don't like that look she's giving us. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. Oh, except that one time you definitely did. Ay, <laughs> uh, cripes. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn. They even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Me? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ah. Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Snow cones are actually crushed ice, you heathen. Yay! Wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice that discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Nick, the entrance is... The entrance is right here. Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. I know that too. Oh well, I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Uh, it's not like we're here on business or anything. Alright, enough faffing about. Ooh, okay. Lodging house or pl big top? Ooh. Uh, lodging house seems small. Big top seems like it could lead to other areas, so... This seems to be a dorm where there are all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into the Stoogie Clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, I thought it would be a clown, but no, it's Gumshoe. Hi, Gumshoe. How is it you guys always seem to know when I'm working the crime scene, pal? Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Yeah, I guess Gumshoe was looking forward to the holiday, huh? So, uh, first things first... What the hell is these imprints in the snow? This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. 
The murderer was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. No, 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 no. We're the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. Uh, the other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Oh! Oh my. Uh, thank God there was all the snow around to bring down the swelling. <laughs> it's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. Interesting. This air conditioner has a bunch of snow piled on top of it, which means it probably wasn't wasn't running for a few days now. This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work too? Wow. What do you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those things. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Wow. Uh, keep in mind that air conditioner. Oh, what's this pole? Uh, the safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So, they should have been on at the time of the murder. Why isn't the snow melted below the pole then? So he's saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange indeed. Hmm. Oh, I guess the sign isn't anything. It's just tarp though. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal! The killer is behind that tarp! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. got ya! I was just kidding. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Santa. Okay, why isn't there any snow on this windowsill? Hmm? Curious. Okay, I think that's everything for right here. Interesting. Alright, Gumshoe. Speak. Do you know who that will be the prosecutor? Uh, God. Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course. It will be Miss Von Karma. Uh, she isn't going to hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. What the hell? Uh, Detective Gumshoe? I'm sure Miss Von Karma's really interesting and all, but... There's someone else I'd rather talk about. Uh, like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. Oh god. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth? What in the world happened after I went back home? Oh god. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him. Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Just say he's not around anymore. Oh god. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? N Nick? Ooh, Jesus. <clears throat> Edgeworth, why? You have to be dead. <laughs> ah. um, the ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Uh, yep. Yeah. Last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. Pretty sad way to go out if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you are standing now. Ho ho ho! Surprised you, didn't I? 
I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Heep. It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. But... But? There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Okay... What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier? Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints. Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? And no clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And, and, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Oh, calm down. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. There's only one pair. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime while flying. <clears throat> the flying culprit? That's when something just clicked in my head. I mean, surely that's just stage tomfoolery. But there's no way! Flying is impossible! That's right, flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Huh? Or stated it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Ah. Yeah, okay, let's present Max. Uh, whoops. <laughs> oh well, I wanted to do this anyway. Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me. How about that one? I'll only wear it- oh wait. I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai Police badge. Then it's a deal! I hear that Detective Gumshoe has a that very badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. Alright. Uh, profiles. Max. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say. A bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something behind at the crime scene. One of, one of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Made to order hat. Interesting. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they are mundane? At least they are easy to understand. Must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Eh? Uh, t tell us about the eyewitness. Yeah. Hello. Um, so about the eyewitness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You know I'm not going to tell you about that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Why are you helping her? Uh, oh, well. Oh, 
I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Uh, why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. Wow. I mean, that has to be Francisca, right? Telling Gumshoe to tell Phoenix. Uh, it must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Oh, let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. <laughs> Sorry, Gumshoe. It's too late. Sorry. Moe's room. Well, clowns are distant, if unbred, relatives of jesters, so I probably like this guy. I mean, he has a jester's outfit right there on this wall. That's nice. I wonder whose room this is. The name tag on the door says Mo on it. I guess he's not here. Wow, it's a real mess in here. My room's probably worse, though. Oh well, I give up. We'll have to come back later. What? What's with the carrots? And why is there a hole in the ceiling that was patched up? Um. Okay, start with the most important thing, the jester outfit. All these clown costumes lined up like that. I don't know about you, but it's creepy. Look at the collection he's got. It's incredible. Must be a collection of clown costumes from around the world. Oh, I almost forgot. What is it now? She better not want me to try the, one of those on. I was thinking of starting a costume collection myself. I'll call it World Spirit Channels. We can display it in our office. In our office? As soon as you start paying the bills, you can say that. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Awesome! Look at these shoes! They're great! Forget the shoes. Check out the great gag banana peel. You sure it wasn't Moe's snack after lunch? Are you blind? Look at how many scratches there are from people slipping on it. <laughs> the bed? Moe's got an excellent pair of pajamas. Laid on his bed in an excellent manner. What? Those are pajamas? You mean he goes to bed dressed as a clown? Ew. <laughs> Interesting. Mo seems to be a voracious reader. Look at all the hard books he has here. Clowns for dummies? The joke's on you? Treat your peons right? And the classic, funny jokes are funny. Wow. Wow, Mo is very studious. The joke's on you, huh? Oh, nothing about this poster. I assume that might be Mo. Huh. Oh god, I'm gonna have to voice a clown, aren't I? Uh, Teehee, clown equipment is so funny looking. He's got a balancing ball, a unicycle, he's even got a trampoline. They're all broken. Maybe he was just a little too excited during practice. Who knows with that guy? Maybe that's part of the gag? Uh, the window outside. Nick, you can see the scene of the crime from here. You can even tell that the ground has been disturbed. It's right in front of this window about 30 feet away. So it wouldn't have been strange for someone to have seen the crime from here. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Well, carrots? What the? There's a string of carrots here. How strange. The carrots seem to come in all different shapes. Weird. I can't tell if Mo just likes carrots or if he's using them for some sort of gag. And the roof. Look at the ceiling. It looks like someone punched a hole in it. Oh, wait, the trampoline. <laughs> Did someone jump on the trampoline and hit their head? Hmm, I don't even want to imagine what goes on in here. Yeah, so the lair of a clown is a dangerous place.
Let's leave if something bad happens. Uh, circus entrance? Let's head into the big top. Wow. Is that big cage in the right, the back, where they, uh, ride the motorcycles round and round in there? I like those things. The circus stage doesn't look like this, doesn't, sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you're gr you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grr? Oh no, is it a tiger? Uh, huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Grr. Um. Oh my god, it is a tiger! What the hell? Oh, look at this, that beautiful cat. <laughs> he, he, he's c c coming this way. Grr, grr, ah! I can't believe Phoenix is fucking dead. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick! Stay, stay, heal. Grr. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Whoa! Hi! Oh god. That is some costume! Her hair is so bright I'm blinded! Maybe I should just turn on the light in my room. Um... Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't... What's the matter, me? N Nick? He almost died there. Ha! He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. Hardly ever! And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Uh-huh! You agree, don't you? I... guess... Well, what do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Huh? It's cute! I wanna try it on! C costume You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh... I guess not. What? Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Faye. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. You put us up next to an animal tamer. That would really look odd. No, honestly? An attorney and a... Oh, animal tamers are pretty weird, I gotta say. Nice to meet ya. Uh, likewise. Oh, God. Well, without further ado, let's, uh, have a chat with Regina here. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait, what did she just say? So, 
The ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. They took me to check things out. Dad was dead. Someone whose father was just murdered. She seems awfully perky. I wish she would tell us more about her dad. It's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so, it has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Let me guess, Leon is a lion? Leon? Yes. Leon the Lion. Actually, I think that's pronounced Lion. Leon. The little accent above the E, I think that's pronounced Leon. Uh, I'll just go Leon, because Leon's cool. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes? Actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. This girl is a freak. What the hell? She is way too calm about all these deaths. Um, here, look at a photo of your father's corpse, please. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Okay. This silk, ha uh, this silk hat is Max's. That's right. It's beautiful, isn't it? thought up the idea for wearing the hat. Huh? Really? Yep. I took my sketch to the hat shop, and they made a custom hat for him based off the sketch. There's only one of these silk hats in the entire world. Isn't that cool? Ah. I think that might come into play later. Ah, here's Russell Berry. He looks like a nice enough fellow. So, uh, tell me what you know about your father, please. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yeah. The door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. Seems like a good idea to check it out for myself. Yes, yes it is. What do you think of Max? It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyway? Y you don't know? Nope. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm. Like what? Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so Regina here is a sociopath. Good, got it. Um. Wow, okay. 
Okay, big top ringmaster's room. Let's take a quick poke in there. Huh. Let's see. Okay, left to right, we got three portraits of Max. Um, a big poster with Regina and Mo the Clown, presumably. And someone with a mohawk and a headband. And then... On the right, it looks like there's a ventriloquist with a really large bow tie. At least, I think that's a ventriloquist. Um... This room, all things considered, seems pretty normal, but what is that file there? This was the ringmaster's room? Yes, this room belonged to the victim. Which means this must be where Max met with the ringmaster last night. Now that you mention it, this is what he said. I wonder what... Hmm, that's an interesting poster. Ah! It's a poster of Max! I want it! I want it! Nick, I want it! I want to get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's take a look around. This seems like the most important thing. It's a table for guests. There are some papers scattered on top. Ah, look at this! Max's salary is written on this piece of paper. Yikes! What? what is it? I didn't know that a magician... This salary is incredible! Looks like she's about ready to pass out from shock. How much is it? How much is it? Th 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 that much? Incredible, huh? You can say that again. This must be the paper they used to negotiate Max's salary. And he wanted a raise, huh? The ringmaster signed and dated it. What's the matter, Nick? Max definitely got a raise. This document is dated a week ago. Ah, well, there you go. It seems Max was lying. Well, we know he was lying because of the Cyclops, but now we have a tool to unlock at least one of them. He got an enormous raise one week ago. I see. Trophies. Nick, look at all the cute trophies. Indeed. Let's look at all the awards the circus has won. Like, all county quiz champions? Ringmasters Association Mini Golf Master? Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ? Pet Grooming Grand Prix? Wow, the ringmaster was multi-talented in ways I could have never imagined. Uh-huh, I see. Uh... Photo. This is strange. Everything else looks nice, but this desk looks old and cheap. There's a really big photo on the desk. It's a picture of Regina and his father, the ringmaster. He really loved her, didn't he? Regina was lucky to have such a wonderful father. Huh. A suit? You may not know this, but they call this a tailcoat. And they call this the face of someone who already knew that. Hmm. What? A scrap of white paper is sticking out of the coat pocket. Oh! Oh, it is! I thought that would be like a little handkerchief that you sometimes see on suits like that, but no. Okay. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. You can't just go rummaging through people's coats. Ah, uh, you always make me feel like I'm doing something wrong. What, can I not loot the coat? Oh. Oh well. There's a lot of posters here, don't you think? There are indeed. So many posters that, like, that they aren't likely to miss one, are they? Oh, Maya! Maya, we're supposed to be the honest ones around here. But... But... You didn't even notice that I took one. Ah. She already swiped one. <laughs> You're incorrigible. You know that? That's a good word. 
Max G promo poster. Emblazoned with Max's three famous symbols. His hat, his cape, and his white roses. I guess we'll have to prove that later. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Cool. This is where the ringmaster applied his makeup. It's quite a collection of the most understated colors. Shocking pink, for example. This one says it's 100% all natural organic mascara. And this one says sensitive, oh, sensitive enough for a baby, strong enough for a mime. Wow. The ringmaster must have been really concerned about skin care. Very metrosexual, uh, very what? Hello. Okay, I don't really know what metrosexual means, but I guess it's a thing. Oh, it means attracted to trains, that's right. <laughs> oh god. All the all of these frames look the same. They almost look like thank you cards. Looks like the, every year the ringmaster made donations to charity. To the robot clown researchers. <laughs> the what? That's how apocalypses begin, when you fund robot clowns. You're kidding, right? What? It might be a perfectly reputable charity in the field of advanced tomfoolery. Ah, oh, Phoenix. A man after my own heart. The field of advanced tomfoolery. <laughs> ah, I love it. Nick, look at all the photos lined up on the wall. It's like a guided tour of the circus's history. This is so cool. It seems like there were so many happy memories. Maybe we should do this sort of thing in our office. We can put up pictures of all the clients who have been found not guilty. Yeah, that's a good idea. And what if we had a client who was found guilty? Um, we'll just pretend like they didn't exist. How's that? Nick, now you've got me thinking about losing cases. Why'd you do that? Ah, uh, one more thing, I think. Look at all the stars on this poster. This must have been the poster they used to promote their public appearances. Posters are the way to go, aren't they? What do you mean? We should make posters to promote our law firm. Spine-tingling legal action. Mind-numbing legalese. You will say, wow. Or perhaps, hold it. Don't miss out on a stunning life-or-death courtroom thrill ride. With those taglines, our law firm would sink faster than the Titanic. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Unless the carpet holds secrets, or... No, yeah, I think that is it. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh! Wait, I can look at this again? Hold up. This was... This was the table, uh... Ew, there's mud caked on the table. Someone with, ter someone with terrible manners must have put their shoes up on the table. Nick, don't even think about it. I wasn't. How uncouth do you think I am anyway? Mud on the table. So someone arrived here when it was raining, maybe? Interesting. Uh... Well... Oh, I can talk to her. What's on your mind? Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? Teehee? I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ah. Um, well... Mumble, mumble, whisper, whisper. What? Really? And then... Mumble, mumble, whisper, whisper. Oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick. There's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P -p 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 professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, 
Another person professed her love for her as well. A what? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo? Trilo? Trilo? Apparently he is a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm, haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men of the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. You're not kidding. Two people in one day? Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. Uh, hold up. Age 16? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Phoenix, no. Stop. Stop, Phoenix. Um. Ed, do you have anything to say about the papers? Uh, no. But my badge. Do you see my badge yet? Oh, no. Okay. Ah, here we go. Something new. Huh? Hey, Nick. Look over there. What? There's someone over there. It, excuse me. Oh! This is the ventriloquist dude. I think. Yeah, I recognize the big bow tie at least. Uh, hello? Wow, he sure is a quiet one. Excuse me. What? Ha uh, ha? Huh? Me? Yes, but you work at the circus, don't you? N no, I'm just your everyday average Joe. Sir, why do you turn this place into a house of lies? An average Joe who just happens to hang out at the circus? I don't think so. Y yes, I am. I've got nothing to do with what's going on here. He's lying. Like any regular person would hang around the circus, just like that. I'm an attorney. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm a spirit medium. My name is Maya. Well, I, um, just happen to be passing by? I don't suppose you happen to be some kind of carny. Not a c c carny uh, I'm a p p performer. Actually, I'm a v v ventriloquist. Yeah, there you go. Ventriloquist? Trillo. Why does the word Trillo show up in Ventriloquist, hmm? Was it this guy's puppet that confessed the love? Huh. <laughs> I'm B B Benjamin Woodman. Wow. Woodman. A Ventriloquist named Woodman, Jesus. <sighs> oh. Your last name is Woodman? Oh, get your head out of the gutter. And frankly, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed my head didn't go there first. <laughs> y yes, th th that's right. But uh, everyone c c calls me b b b b Ben. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's your alias, right? I believe they called it a stage name. Interesting fellow here. Well, I suppose we'll have to wait to interrogate him at a later date. For now... You know what? I think a circus is a pretty fun location to visit for a case. I, I foresee many shenanigans. I mean, we have already gotten so many shenanigans. Like, uh, the, the tiger, whose name I forget, unfortunately. Uh, Roland? Was the tiger's name Roland? Eh... Whatever, I don't care. Some dumb tiger. Um, this game, this series has a knack for having some truly wacky and weird characters. And the circus feels like a pretty...
perfect place to just really go ham with it, you know? Uh, so I'm excited to see who else will pop up in this case. And I gotta say, the circumstances of Russell's death seems very odd. There's a lot of room for shenanigans here in terms of that. I can't figure out quite how it was done. Who knows, maybe some ice or snow from the roof or the light pole fell on him and the evidence melted away. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, not much to work with right now, but I'm gonna have to... God, I, I'm struggling to find the right voices for all these characters. I think I nailed down Max's voice um, for a moment, like a few lines, but then I lost it. And, uh... <laughs> you know what? This guy right here, Ben, I want to give him a Pee Wee Herman voice. Yeah. Oh my god, he is Pee Wee Herman. He totally is. Oh god, but I think my voice would die if I gave him that voice. Anyway, anyway, I'm just blabbering. Um, yeah, this seems... I'm excited to see more, so... I've been Zephyr the Jester. This has been Phoenix... Uh, not Phoenix for All. Uh, this has been Phoenix Wright, Justice for All, Case 3. I thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you next time. So until then, please take care.